All right, so picking up where we left off. Uh, let's take a look at number eight. <clears throat> so with this problem, what we're going to do is make sure we factor out the top completely. And I'm going to go ahead and write this bottom piece twice. that will just make our life a little bit easier. So we can take out a c squared. We're left with c plus 3. And then if we're multiplying, I'm just going to go ahead and combine these numerators and denominators. That would factor to be c plus 5 times c minus 5. And the bottom, I'm going to write c plus 5 twice and then the c squared. c squareds cancel, c plus 5, c plus 5, and we wind up just being left with c plus 3 times c minus 5, all divided by c plus 5. Now some people would ask, you know, could you simplify those? Uh, and it, it is simplified. We canceled out common terms. Uh, you could distribute them if you feel like it, but if the directions just say simplify and you canceled out like terms, uh, then that would be a good enough answer for me couple more for today. What if we had 8x squared y divided by 15a squared b divided by 2xy squared over 5ab to the fourth? First thing I'm going to do is I see a division, so I'm going to change that to multiplying by the reciprocal. 8x squared y over 15a squared b, we're going to keep that, change, and then flip the second one. 5ab to the fourth divided by 2xy squared. Now I'm going to go ahead and multiply straight across. I get 40ab to the fourth x squared y <coughs> divided by 30a squared b and then xy squared. So I'm going to do each of these individually. 40 divided by 30 is 4 thirds. a to the first divided by a to the second is a to the negative first. b to the fourth divided by b is b to the third. x to the second divided by x is x to the first. And y divided by y to the second, if you subtract the powers, you get y to the negative first. So any of these negative powers go to the bottom. And we wind up getting 4b cubed x divided by 3ay. One more problem, and then I'll give you your homework. Number 10, it says we have x squared plus 2x minus 8 divided by x squared plus 4x plus 3. We're dividing that whole thing by x minus 2 over 3x plus 3. So you guessed it. We're going to change this to multiplying by the reciprocal, and I'm going to go ahead and factor this, and uh, it should be an x here, 3x plus 3 going to go ahead and factor that also. So the first one, I'm going to keep this first fraction the same, but I, I am going to factor this. So it's going to be x plus 4 times x minus 2. And underneath that, it would be x plus 3 times x plus 1. Then I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. If we factor out a 3, we get x plus 1. And on the bottom, we get x minus 2. So we are multiplying, which means I can cancel out the same factors on top and bottom. And it looks like we're just left with 3 times x plus 4 divided by uh, x plus 3. All right, so hopefully that takes care of uh, any questions that we have. Try the homework, and we'll talk about it tomorrow. It's going to be on page 566. I'd like you to please do numbers 8 to 13 and 18 to 30 even. And then I would like you to take a look at on um, practice... 9, 3. I would like you to please do numbers 1 to 8. Homework for tomorrow. Please make sure you submit by midnight tonight. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.